If ever there's a reason to be excited about the hobby, today's the day. This is the Draco. Probably, maybe definitely, the most talked about RC plane and possibly full-scale plane ever. If you don't know about the Draco, let's work together and take the rock off your head that you've been living under because this deserves your attention. This is E-Flight's newest plane and Bravo. It is their most detailed plane ever to hit the market. In fact, it's a record setting plane. This plane sold out in less than a day, which is awesome. And if you want one of these, it'll be linked in the description box below. You better put it on back order. You put your name on the list and you wait till it's your turn because that's the only way to pick one of these up. The Draco is a stall plane, S-T-O-L, short takeoff or landing airplane. Uh, and it has just a really cool story from Mike. There's some great videos by Horizon and E-Flight and Mike himself if you'd like to know their personal story. But for us today, the RC sailors and all you guys watching, we're gonna maiden this airplane. We're going to see how it does on a very first flight. I talked about some of the attention to detail. I mean, there's down to every rivet on this airplane is visible, but I want to show you these shocks. Now they're truly functioning shocks. They're just a little, a little on the tight side, but it's a heavy airplane. So I think they're going to work out really well. Uh, the one thing to know is they look scale, they function RC. There are springs in there, but just look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, if you didn't know any better, you would think that those were truly real. Uh, the only issue I had, Abby went straight to the tail there, is loading these two springs uh, into the rear tail wheel. It's kind of a bit of a shock saver for that wheel. It, uh, I have a challenge for anybody out there watching. I will give you $5 if you can attach the second set of Z bins on your first try. If you're able to do that, talk to me. I owe you $5. Yeah, yours is slightly just, bent. Just kidding, of course, but that's the only little frustration I had in the entire setup. And I think that's important to note because it was a very enjoyable slap together, I'm going to call it build. You've probably noticed that beautiful four bladed prop, which does function in reverse. This took me about an hour to slap together, and I was enjoying the whole process. I love the battery placement on this airplane, it's really cool. I was looking at it when I was slapping it together thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if the hood popped up? You know, it does. Here's our giant motor with our IC5 connector. Of course, this airplane has all the telemetry on board that you could ever ask for. It's all the newest, best from Spectrum. I'll be flying on a Gen 2 Spectrum 5000 milliamp 6S battery, although it can fly on a 4S battery. If you come back here to the rear window, this is kind of a unique thing where the whole thing pops off. It's just magnetic, okay? And then to access the receiver and everything, check this out. It's right down in there. I thought that was really cool. I mean, you could think of how much candy you could put in there, guys. <laughs> I think it's time to fly. These pre-flight nerves are just one of these things that kind of keeps you alive, you know? <laughs> the adrenaline is like an all-time high. Half flaps, uh, the wind is changing directions, but this should be a pretty short takeoff. Look at that, we can turn our lights on and off. I can even see that in the bright day. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Yep. Ready? Oh, Abby, I, uh, I, I need to back up a little bit for takeoff here. Let me just prop this in reverse here. Oh, there, okay, there we go. All right. All good, all good now, okay? <laughs> okay, I am, uh, I'm ready, I think. Okay. Oh, sweet. Wow. That was amazing, that was amazing, 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 amazing. And I'll tell you what, I just thought, you know what? This plane is so big, I don't even want to rely on safe. I just, I have AS3X on right now, but no safe. So uh, that is so awesome. I could have taken off even faster if I wanted to, but on a first flight, you kind of ease into things, you know? Although is flying with no safe easing into something at all? Had to turn a little sharper there because of that tree. Bear in mind, I'm flying on a 6S battery and I'm just cruising at about half throttle right now.
Uh, this thing feels so good. There's full throttle. There's a good roll. Ah. Wow. <laughs> this awesome. is a giant two meter wingspan airplane. I am probably like pretty far away. I'm pretty it sure it's your like, biggest wingspan ever. It looks like it is uh, closer than some of the little park flyers that I fly. The size of this is what makes it really nice. Listen to that prop. Just slicing through the air. I love the bright, like red baron, bright red. You know, this is the Draco red. I love it. Very easy to see against blue sky, white clouds, even gray skies. This would be very easy to see. Gotta watch our giant evil tree there. Okay, let's go for a loop. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Man, the wind is changing directions like crazy, but we got this. Let's go, Draco. Nice. Oh, that's such a good loop. This is like an acrobatic <laughs> kind of sporty plane, even though it's just meant really to be like a stall plane, you know, the short takeoff and landing style of airplane. Wow. okay <laughs> it doesn't just look good it flies good this is awesome now i know this size of airplane would probably intimidate you a little bit but you have to try this let's throttle up that's full throttle we'll We're wait till climb. another let's video climb. let's climb let's climb yeah another video maybe actually you fly this again for them wow maybe okay. i'll do like the third so video the pre-flight jitters are completely gone and now i'm just dealing with pure adrenaline look at that knife edge yeah draco baby and please to you scale flyers please forgive me because i am just waking the beast up and i just want to see what it's capable of i'm having a really good time sometimes the adrenaline takes over what the you know scale brain wants to do so let's kick it into another little knife edge here i'm keeping it high don't want to crash on a maiden but look at that we're just cruising on that nice, easy knife edge. Look at that go. Can I keep it into a curve? Probably on my turn. Oh, I'm losing it. Sorry, guys. Not the best knife edge pilot in the world, but this is so sweet. We're going to just kind of can, can I snap it. Oh, it snaps. It does snap. Let's get a better one going. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> Oh man, that four bladed prop looks so good when it's not spinning, doesn't it? Now it looks good spinning. It does the look good spinning circle. too. Well, there's triangles, but it makes yeah when it spins, it's a circle. Right hand <laughs> turns. Right hand turns. <laughs> oh boy, getting oh. crazy. <laughs> we all know what I'm talking about. Now this airplane has telemetry too, so I'm gonna know when my battery's getting low. Normally, it's set a three, four, five minute timer and hone in your flight time until you get uh, comfortable. You know, you know about how long you can fly. You don't have to worry about that. If you want to fly nice and scale and cruise it around just like this, the whole flight, you can and not have to worry about setting a flight timer. If you want to mix in some sport flying or just do a full flight of sport flying, you'll know when your battery gets low because you'll have an alarm go off on your radio right out of the box. If you pair it up with Spectrum Smart Tech, uh, like the new NX transmitters, this all just works right out of the box. Now, talking about how easy this plane is to get in the air, I know for a fact that because of Mike and his influence and his friends and everything, there are a large handful of first time flyers with this Draco. And so to all of you, I highly encourage before you fly, you get AMA insurance that's the academy of model aeronautics insurance it comes in at a fraction of the price of this airplane and it's going to keep you 
and the people around you safe when you fly, okay? I, I highly encourage that before you ever get to this to the skies with your new Draco that you get the AMA insurance. We'll have it linked in our video description box below. To me, I wouldn't even consider flying a paper airplane without it. So please, 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 you know, take my advice. You also get some great magazines in the mail and stuff too. So, and people in the comments too, people in the comments encourage our first time flyers because believe it or not, a lot of people bought this Draco as their very first airplane. A lot of people bought it as like the big setup too. Yeah, so they also have the one that is bind and fly, the one I'm flying on right now, it's on back order guys. That one is gonna take a little while to get to people. If you if you pre-ordered it, good for you because you're probably gonna get it in the mail the same day you're seeing the release of this video. But if you didn't pre-order it on the first day, then that means you're on back order and it's probably going to be a few more weeks or so before you get yours. So if you're interested in it, you really need to get yourself on the waiting list. And remember that if you use our link in the description box, it helps support family friendly content on YouTube. If that means something to you, just click the link and uh, support us, help us out. It doesn't cost you an extra penny and we're very grateful. So thank you for at least considering that. We'll have our batteries that we're flying on linked down there too to make it all easy on you guys. And today I'm actually flying on my NX-8 radio. Uh, this airplane, if you want to take full advantage of it with that reverse prop and stuff, you would want to consider getting the NX-8. Here we go. Let's just have some fun flying now. This is a beautiful, beautiful airplane, and it flies extremely well. Whoa! Wow, that was nice scary. Nice and aggressive and low to the ground, but my confidence is soaring with this thing. Can you tell? I can tell. Wow, 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 wow. There's zero throttle. I wanna see how it does with no power. We're gonna get it a little higher. It's a big, heavy airplane, and if you're gonna test its stall tendencies, you want to have a little bit of room for air, room for recovery. So we're just going to go right up here at zero throttle. There we go. I'm just kiting it now. When am I going to stall? Let's nose into the wind a little bit. And you know what? It's actually doing extremely well. I haven't felt any drop yet. I, I'm actually very surprised at that. Wow. I'm powering on just so I can make it through this turn and come back because uh, I didn't feel a drop there at all. Now, nose was into the wind at about a four mile an hour breeze. So I don't think that's enough to keep this up, but it also has safe on here. If you so choose to use safe, you can. Um, I just thought it'd be really fun to maiden this entire flight without safe. And this whole time I've been holding up elevator just a touch. So the excitement is just keeping me from being able to focus on the things I need to do. <laughs> I need to trim the airplane a hair. It needed about six or seven clicks there of, of up elevator for me at least. Wow. I'm excited to see how it comes in for a landing too. I almost feel like I should just do a little test of a touch and go here. And now I wanted to bring it to this grass field to show you guys this airplane is capable of taking off and landing from actually fairly tall grass. I'm not taking it through the wheat like I did that cheap airplane <laughs> the hay there the tall grass but you know this is grass that would most airfields would be embarrassed to call their grass what i took off from and it's it's able to do it so this really, is a farm it's a farm yeah you don't have to worry about like where can i fly this you can fly just about anywhere we might do a follow-up flight on on asphalt and see how it does there because you know, taxiing and takeoff and landing tendencies are all very different with what, what surfaces you're flying on. When I get close, I can even see those counterweights that are back on the control surfaces. And it is really cool to see the attention to detail on this airplane. It truly looks like a full scale plane. If you're just looking out there over the tree line like that, and you could hear a loud engine right now, you would think that was a full scale plane <laughs> coming in for a nice low fun pass. 
So I'm, I'm really just wanting to fly this because I feel like, until the alarm goes off, I feel like most people are probably gonna go with the setup that I'm flying on, which is a 6S 5,000 milliamp battery. However, know that you can go as low as 4,000 milliamps and as high as 7,000 milliamps, anywhere between a 4S and a 6S battery. I'm excited to test this on 4S because to me, I just don't feel like it would do well on a 4S, but based on the fact that I'm flying mostly on a half throttle or so, it probably will do good on 4S. But I recommend what I'm flying on, it feels great. It's got enough punch and power to do stuff like this. What a beautiful airplane. What a beautiful airplane. I'm impressed with the flight time too. Why don't you do some quiet flybys, Nathan? <laughs> they always appreciate those. <laughs> Bug on my screen. <laughs> We're gonna rip it by at about full throttle on this one. What a beautiful airplane and a beautiful day to fly too. she do inverted I'm not going to keep it upside down very long but it does fly upside down okay you did need to input some down elevator to keep it upside down and then the wind is picking up so I just don't feel extremely comfortable uh, keeping it upside down very long on a maiden flight remember guys this is my first time putting this in the air um, with the wind increasing and the unknown on my battery here I want to go ahead and bring this in and uh, I'll let you guys know where the battery sits either at, at, you know and wrapping up the video here or or um, I'll put it like in the description box or something so the wind is just picking up and I've got the worst cross breeze ever so I just want to try to go ahead and bring it in see what it's gonna feel like now that I'll tell you what we, we might have to bring it in the other way here Abby because which way uh, right to left I'm thinking okay just because the wind has picked up so bad I think that's gonna help me yeah I'm gonna use that as my runway forgive the uh, car in the shop there but that's definitely the best way with the wind we're probably getting close to maybe eight nine miles an hour wind and I'm just I know it's supposed to keep picking up as the day goes on so let's try to get it nice and smooth maiden flight maiden flight come on baby I'll take it I'll take it with that tall grass that was awesome. That was perfect. <laughs> well, let me just get it back in the shot here for you, Abby. There's always in a shot. No, oh, there we go. How's that? How's that? Is that well, let's, let's sit a little better on the camera there. Oh, well, we can pull it forward if you want. Oh, you want to go backwards? Okay, let's just... Oh my gosh, you're going to break it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Parallel park. I should note, these little uh, wingtip savers here are what Mike credits to possibly saving his life that's even included on the airplane down to the little counterbalance which I think is very cool pretty sweet and these wings come off with just a little lock key system right here very hidden they just twist 90 degrees and you can slide both wings off for transportation with ease which is a must on an airplane this big little side steps everywhere that we installed antennas it all just looks so good we landed at 3.7 volts Per cell. I like to look at the per cell because no matter how many volts you're flying on, no matter how many cells you're flying on, whether it's a 2S crawler or an 8S jet or anything in between, as long as you know the individual cell voltage, you know how all batteries work. We like to have our batteries at a resting state of 3.8 volts per cell. They can, they're considered to be getting low around 3.6 volts per cell, maybe 3.5. 
And so to land at 3.7 volts right before the alarm went off with an 11 minute flight time, I'd say you can safely expect an average with the setup that I'm flying on of about 11 to 12 minutes, which is amazing. I was expecting a four or five minute flight on this airplane. I don't know why I was expecting that, probably just because it's so heavy, but that's what I was expecting. What a maiden flight. Truly, I couldn't be happier. This thing reminds me of a modern day Red Baron. I mean, that's what I kind of felt like when I was flying it, but cooler. It's called the Draco, which if you didn't know, is uh, another word for dragon. And it really does feel like you're just flying this fire breathing dragon in the air. To Mike and Mike's family behind all of this, I applaud you for what you did in the full scale world and bringing this into the RC world with Horizon and E-Flight because you picked the right team to do it. This airplane is perfect. And to E-Flight, I say, good luck. You just raised the bar on yourself. You're gonna have to kind of keep up with this puppy now. And I'm excited to see what else that might bring into the, oh, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm falling over. I'm excited to see what else that could bring to the hobby and the industry because what we're seeing here is progress. It took time to get this out. We all knew it was coming for like a year and a half, two years, but it was worth the wait. And uh, Does anybody want to sing Carol Carousel of Progress after hearing that speech from Nate? Yeah. It's a great big beautiful. Well, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's what it sounded like you were trying to say. <laughs> it's really cool, isn't it, to think about when you were a kid, if you're my age, or you know maybe you're older, and how far the hobby has come. This is the cream of the crop right now. This is the best foam plane that's on the market. It's absolutely amazing. Whether you're a scale flyer, or a sport flyer, or even a 3D flyer, you need one of these at some point. At least see one in person. I can tell you this, the seeing it online, seeing photos of it on Horizon, seeing Horizon's videos of it versus seeing it and flying it, feeling it and hearing it in person is night and day. So if you do decide to pull the trigger on this, by the time you get it and you have it in hand, you will be blown away. You will be very impressed by the level of detail, the flying characteristics right out of the box, guys. I didn't add expo, I didn't add uh, flight modes. I was not even flying on safe. That entire flight was just AS3X from start to finish. Nothing was pre-programmed on my radio. That's how it flew in some wind. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I realize this is an expensive airplane. I do not think it should be most people's first airplanes unless you understand how aviation works, that type of thing. But if you're interested in getting into the hobby and you made it this far in the video, let us know in the comments below. If you're buying your first airplane, we'll steer you in the right direction. If you do end up buying this as your first airplane, as many of you actually did, then please, please, please get AMA. Do yourself a favor and everyone in your life and everyone around you, just have AMA when you fly, please. Okay, this will all be linked in the description box below from the airplane to the radio that I'm using, the battery I'm flying on, to my drone. To Abby's drone. If you guys are enjoying those chase shots, that'll be linked down there Hi, too. Hi, that's me. Yeah, my that's wife. Me. She flies amazingly well. If there are no drone shots, something horrible happens. <laughs> <laughs> and you will never see this on the channel again. That's right. Uh, for a successful maiden and helping just control that adrenaline and keep me focused and getting a good flight out there for you guys, I thank God. I also, that's just for the beautiful day too, I also want to thank our Patreon supporters for helping us maintain our channel from day one. We could not have done our channel to where it is now. Over 270,000 subscribers. It blows my mind every day, if not for our Patreon supporters. You guys are the true backbone to our channel, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You mean the world to us. We'll have another amazing e-flight video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.